Kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel guys. Today we've got an easy to use, powerful and amazing Town Hall 16 attack strategy. Lots of dragons. So we'll watch some replays in just a moment. This is the army we're going to be using. Four balloons, six dragons and six electro dragon spells. going to be an earthquake, seven lightnings, a freeze, an overgrowth, a rage and a poison spell to sprinkle on top. Clan castle troops, a couple of yetis, a valkyrie and sneaky goblins inside the battle blimp. If you're going to take out the Town Hall directly... If you're going to do a bit of funneling, siege barracks with some Valkyries inside, yes. So this is the hero equipment I like to use. Use what you've got though, guys. So Giant Gorn and Rage Vial, Giant Arrow and Healer Puppet. Very, very good for air attacks. Take out those air defences, Eternal Tome and Healing Tome. And of course, Rocket Spear and Seeking Shield. After the balance changes are out, I'm not sure when they'll be. That's going to be my number one choice for the Royal Champion. To start off your attack using the Earthquake and Lightning to take out a high value target. On this base, we've gone for the Eagle Artillery. It depends, of course, on the base. Giant Arrow from the right hand side. Try and do some damage. Take out some Air Sweepers as well. And Air Defenses, they're your number one choice. Quick tip for you. If you use a couple of Earthquake spells on Spell Towers, the Giant Arrow will take out Spell Towers. So that's useful if you've got a couple of Invisibility Spell Towers close together or Poison Spell Towers. So the attack is beginning, guys. On the right hand side, we've got the Queen Walk with the Healers from the Healer Puppet. Then the main army in the center, Grand warden on air mode sending that battle blimp you don't need to always use the battle blimp but on some bases yeah it makes sense deliver the battle blimp to the town hall and use a rage spell to help those yetis take it out now this quick disclaimer guys was a friendly challenge on hard mode this is normally how i like to practice this base was pretty easy to three star the next one i do not like the next base we're going to take on and that did take a few attempts but it's a nasty base and i think we did pretty well on hard mode with this hybrid sort of a dragon electro dragon attack and those lightning spells as well guys with earthquake spell really good if you're going to get a few seconds at the beginning of the attack to look at the base you can sort of decide which compartment to take out because i've noticed especially in legend league loads of bases have compartments with invisibility spell tower so a couple of compartments one on the right one on the left loads of nasty defenses invisibility spell tower right in the center we know what they're trying to do but with the earthquake spell and lightning spells you can take out that compartment or most of it anyway makes the attack a lot easier so at the moment i am finding air attacks definitely the strongest attack dragons electro dragons i do love my ground attacks root riders are amazing and i think without root riders i think ground attacks at town hall 16 nobody would use them but of course we've got those root riders they've been nerfed a couple of times but they're still really good all i'm trying to say guys is i do prefer air attacks at the moment i think they are easy to use and more powerful especially hero equipment on the queen you need that giant arrow to take out a couple of air defenses air sweepers spell towers with earthquake spells so remember two earthquake spells on a spell tower giant arrow goodbye so on to the next base here we go we were talking about invisibility spell towers and compartments there's one on the left there we've just done a lot of damage there taking out the invisibility spell tower and we'll come back to that later queen again on the right hand side giant arrow through the base it's hit me in the foot no it hasn't really guys in the shoulder but i'm okay so the queen there so when you've used the giant arrow on the queen if you've got healer puppet you have a mini queen walk there with the unicorn as well what i would say is try not to just leave your queen alone on one side of the base where she's going to get taken out of the battle you want the queen still there near the end of the battle on full health so what you might want to do and i haven't done on this attack is send in your main army above the queen's position that means sheer benefit from eternal tome healing tome again we've sent in the battle blimp some bases you might want to use siege barracks to help funnel your troops into the base use valkyries inside the siege barracks if you're doing that if you're trying to take out the town hall directly i always use a couple of yetis a valk and sneaky goblin some people use balloons but no i don't like that guys i think there's air traps there's the tornado trap sometimes the balloons go off and miss yetis rage spell more often than not for me will take out that town hall so what's going on here we've got the overgrowth spell quick tip or two for you now guys with the overgrowth spell firstly you can use it to help funnel your troops into the base but the best use for it is there's a nasty sort of area of the base and you don't want your electro dragons or dragons to go towards it or your heroes use it there to neutralize it especially monolith on this attack is the number one enemy i think because it can do a lot of damage or single target inferno so the monolith those dragons electro dragons the heroes they're just going to take loads and loads of damage so we are going to get three stars this one took a few attempts to three star and hard mode though i don't like attacking this base 
So guys, a nice, easy to use attack, bit of tactics there with the earthquake spell and lightning spells, but I think it's really powerful, really easy to use. The army copy links in the video description. Remember, you can use code Moose in game if you'd like to help support the channel. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell, lots of things to remember. Sorry, guys. Remember to have fun, stay hydrated, and practice your funneling. See you later, guys. Bye.